Hey guys, happy Thursday. Today we're going to do an episode of My True Life Horror Story. There is a warning here. There is a homophobic slur in this story. I'm not saying this to offend anybody. This is simply how the story goes. So when you get offended, don't come at me with pitchforks because I'm not coming at you. So this was probably back in 2017, 2018. I am doing what I do best. I am sending voice messages to people I consider friends through Instagram. So for friends, I probably sent you a voice message. Or if I like talking to you, we sent voice messages. So I'm sending a voice message to another horror tuber. We're discussing and talking. I'm sitting on my couch. At the time, I lived near Palm Springs. um, And I lived in this very old house. The house was old. It was creaky. It had, it was a house that was built upon. So the front of the house ended up becoming a large living room. And the attachment ended up becoming another room. It was very strange, very strange house. But it always had this strange feeling to it. For instance, I wouldn't like to go into the master bedroom. In the master bedroom, I always felt like there was a presence. It always felt like there was an energy. I'm not trying to sound all weird, moving fingers in a dramatic way. There's an energy. But it always felt like there was a sense of something negative there. And pretty much for the whole entire house, anything that was attached felt odd. So I'm sitting in the living room, the floor's creaking, I have nothing on, no television on, nothing. It's probably in the afternoon, about 12 one. Sun's not quite the brightest, but also not, you know, low. So probably about one o'clock. We're having a conversation, we're talking. We have this whole conversation, we're speaking, everything's good, everything's fine. And as I finish saying something to him, I end my message and I see that he replies. And I tend to be this kind of person where I go, oh no, if I reply immediately, you know, it seems like I'm being weird and have no life. Joke's on that person, I have no life and I'm weird. So I make it a point to not reply for a couple days. So two days later, I am getting ready. I'm getting ready to take a shower and I go, you know what? Let me see what my horror tuber friend is up to. So what I end up doing is I hitting play on his message. And his message went a little something like this. Whoa, dude, what was that about? Who's with you? My response in my mind after hearing that message, I go, what, what are you talking about? What, what, who's with me, what are you talking about? So I go and play my last message that I sent to him. And I end up talking about some kind of movie or something. And in the background, I hear this. You faggot. Not even joking. That wasn't my voice. That wasn't me. I don't know how that voice came about. As Soon as I heard that, my mind immediately started going to rational responses. Oh, you know, it picked up a TV. Boom, there was no TV on. Oh, it picked up a radio or Spotify. Uh, it's not possible, I'm using my phone. So it, that wouldn't have came up. Uh, oh, uh, I must have yawned. No, maybe someone was nearby. Nobody was in the house. It was just me, only me. I can't tell you how many times I played it back. Just hearing, you faggot. Absolutely confusing. It didn't sound like my voice. It didn't sound like me. And it wouldn't be something I would say to somebody. I get that some people like to play around and make jokes or whatever, but it, 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 there was no context for it. There'd be no reason for me to call someone any name, let alone that name. And there's no context for it. It's not like oh, we're making fun of each other or nothing. It was just a regular conversation about, you know, playing a video game or a movie. I remember hearing that and I just could not put a rational explanation upon it. Despite everything, I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure out how or why or what caused that voice. And it really drove me nuts. It got creepy to the point that I finally responded and I flat out tell him, hey man, I have no idea how that voice got there. And he goes, ha 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 ha, Mr. Death Breath, you're kidding. (laughs) You're trying to make a joke. But seriously, who made that voice? I respond again. I'm not kidding. I don't know how that voice got there. That's one of those situations where it's just so creepy. I have no idea how that voice got there. I had no idea what caused that voice. Truly a scary moment, truly a come to God moment. And as you know, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe he died for our sins. I'm a very much strong believer in God. And that was one of those situations where I wasn't honoring God the way I should have. I was lukewarm. I was saying I was a Christian, but doing things that weren't Christian-like, not treating people correctly, medicating myself with various drugs, doing things that said 
I could proclaim that I loved God, but externally and internally, even though I was kidding myself, I wasn't loving God. Because God says to deny yourself, right? I wasn't denying myself. I was pure hedonism while just giving lip service to God, you know? Like, how can you say that, you know, you love your significant other if you cheat on them? How can you say that you care for your parents if you're disrespectful to them? You can say whatever you want, but at the end of the day, your actions need to line up with your words. And it's not about the things you say, but it's about the things you do. You can say you're a nice guy, but flipping people off and having road rage and getting into fights does not make you a nice guy. Anyway, that was my story and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is available on Spotify. If you're listening to it on Spotify, this is available on YouTube. Take care.